Hey guys, this lesson's on force. And in force, there is one main equation. Force equals mass times acceleration. So basically what that means is, let's say you have a bowling ball and a tennis ball. Um, tennis ball having a lot smaller mass than this bowling ball. And you push them so they're moving accelerating at the same rate. Well, as you can imagine, you need a lot more force in order to get that bowling ball moving at the same rate as this tennis ball. And that's because it has a lot larger mass, so you need a lot larger force to make it go the same acceleration. So let's do a couple of quick problems real quick. Let's say we have um, something uh, like a block or so on a string. and you are pulling it with a force of 10 newtons. So this string has a tension of 10 newtons. And there's a frictional force in the opposite direction of 2 newtons. And this thing weighs 5 kilograms. I mean its mass is 5 kilograms, sorry. So we want to find its net acceleration. Alright, so for that all we have to do is we first have to add up uh, our forces. So in this case, it'll be 10 newtons plus negative 2 newtons. And the reason this is negative is because it's working against this 10. And in this system, normally actually should be this should be uh, negative 10 newtons. Or um, uh, I mean, the reason this is negative 2 is because it's being pushed in uh, this direction. And on a graph, this is negative. So um, is working against it, it's negative 2. So when you add these two up, uh, it equals 8 newtons. So our net force is 8 newtons in this direction. So if it's 8 newtons, and if force equals mass times acceleration, we have our mass, which is 5 kilograms. We just have to divide 8 by uh, 5 to get our acceleration. So 8 newtons over 5 kilograms will equal 1.6 meters per second squared. And that's how you do a problem like that. So let's do a bit of more complicated of a problem. And let's say we have kind of a train cart. And we're pulling this train cart with a force of 36 newtons. And this it in all its uh, ways has uh, a mass of 10 kilograms. And this cart and everything that it has has a mass of 8 kilograms. And we want to find the acceleration in each one of these carts. So what we do for that is first of all we find the net acceleration. So that's going to be 36 newtons, which is our total force pulling uh, on these two masses, which is going to be when you add them up, it's 18 kilograms times acceleration. So when you divide that, our net acceleration will be 2 meters per second squared. And when we have this, we know that this is accelerating at 2 meters per second squared, and this card is accelerating at 2 meters per second squared. So to find the individual forces, all we have to do is uh, take the masses times their acceleration. So of this first cart, it's going to be 10 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared. So of this first cart, the net force is 20 newtons. And of the second cart, which is 8 kilograms times 2 meters per second squared, equals 16 newtons. And you can see if you add these up, uh, these when you add them up, it equals 36 newtons. So uh, that's how you can check your answer. Uh, so let's say we have uh, another one where we have a person in an elevator, and this elevator is moving up at a constant rate, and we want to find the net force acting on this guy. So, what do we know? We know that he has a weight, 
just pushing down with MG. We don't know M or, well, we know G, but we don't know M. And we know it. Um, there's some force acting, so it's going up at a constant rate. Now, the thing to remember with forces is that a constant velocity and zero velocity are the same thing. So they mean that a net zero force is acting on it. So the trick is not to think that there's a greater force pushing it up. It's just it's stuck in an equilibrium. So the main force, are there, so there is no net force. That's how you remember that. Oops equals force. So the force is zero newtons. And let's go one more problem where we have an object that is feeling two tensions. One tension force in this direction, the positive x, and one force in this direction, 4m. And we want to find the net tension force. And this is just going to be a, uh, trig a trigonometry problem. So this will just be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So all we have to do is do uh, 4 newtons squared plus 3 newtons squared. And the square root of that will give us our c squared. And that will equal 5 newtons. And that's you find a problem like that. Alright, that's all for uh, force. I uh, hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions or uh, need any help on any other problems or have any other questions, I'll be glad to make a video of it. Just send me a message and I'll see you next lesson.